Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make this real cicada wing preserved resin necklace. If you'd like to learn how, keep watching. You'll need a real cicada wing, a drill, some mica powder, a silver chain necklace base, some UV resin, some pliers, and a little UV light plug-in, a bale, and a jump ring. Alright, so let's get started with our cicada wing resin and setting up that UV light. Personally, I collect my cicada wings from nature trails and they also leave them on my front patio. And I'm just gonna go ahead and prep the mica powder for the like second to third layers that I end up doing a little bit later. So first we're gonna paint on one layer of resin on each side of the wing. And then we're gonna go ahead and dry that with the UV light for 20 to 30 seconds. I personally love the UV resin with that applicator tip that's almost like um, painting your nails because it gets that really fine layer. So I'm doing the other side now and just drying that side. What I'm gonna do after these is the point where I'm actually holding the wing, the very tip of the wing. I end up going over that um, because you just don't want resin drying on your fingers. You should actually be wearing a set of gloves here so that you're not getting resin um, anywhere on your skin. It's super toxic as well as a mask, face mask, because it, the fumes are extremely toxic. Now that that first layer is dried and completed, I'm pouring a little glob of resin for the next few layers and I just like to mix in a little dab of mica powder for that extra little shimmer on the wing and we're just gonna coat each side again drying with the UV light for 20 to 30 seconds per side once we've got that dry I like to do another two to three coats this is totally up to you, but the more coats you do, the more sturdy it's going to be to hold up against if you drop it or anything like that. So I like to do two to three coats and make sure that you're getting that other side of the wing that you were previously holding with your fingertip. So that's also why I like to get a few coats going there and get everything even. So after we've got our few layers dried, we're gonna go ahead and prep our necklace, get the bale and jump ring ready and attached to the necklace base. Next to the fun part, the drilling. I will link in the description where I got this drill. It was just from Amazon. I believe or the craft store so I am starting with drilling a little hole and I measured out my bale to make sure it's not too far down on the wing so I just leave a little bit of space there at the tip and attach it to the bale and it's pretty simple actually you're done with the pendant here's a little close-up so you can see the shimmer of the mica powder and then the sunlight Thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more craft tutorials.